So let's work on lab 6.5, install a Soho network. You are creating a home office network. The network's internet access is connected to the left network port in the wall switch plate. You have selected a router and a wireless access point to use. Now you need to connect the devices and configure the network. All right, so let's add the two devices that they asked us to do so. So let's add the wireless access and then let's add the router. And then they said to the instruction says to connect all the devices to these two. Okay, so let's turn these to the back. So we're going to start by connecting these two to each other. So let's click on cables and let's find this one. So connect over here and the other side to the router. Okay. Then it says connect the router to the left Ethernet port to the wall. All right, so let's connect the router to the wall. So we're going to add it on this port. Let me get a bit closer so you can see the port. So I've added on the one port. Now let's zoom out to see the wall. And the other bed goes over here. All right, so now we've done this. Then it says provide power. Okay, so let's zoom in again and provide power to both devices. Let's start this one. And then let's click on the other power device, uh, the power cable and add it to the router. Right. Then it says connect both desktop computers to the router. So we're gonna use these two cables that are left. For the first PC, I'm gonna add it in port two. And for the second one, I'm gonna add it in port four. So this one is connected to the wall. This one is connected to this device. Now let's connect this one to the first PC, which is here. So let's turn it to the back. Let's minimize this so it's easier and then i'm going to click back to the cable and i'm going to add this bit here okay so pc1 is connected let's put it to the front and now pc2 back you have to go a bit back and forth all right so now both pcs are connected Great, so now everything is connected. Let's just connect these two to the electricity, which is the last step to make sure everything is powered up. So let's start with this one and let's connect it here. Okay, there you go. And now let's connect the router. Okay, now both are connected. Perfect, so now it's all ready. So now let's see what's the next step. It says configure both desktop computer to receive DHCP addresses and be assigned DNS service automatically. So let's do that. Let's click here and let's write settings. Let's go to network and internet. Let's go to ethernet. And if you scroll down here, it says the IP it's manual, so let's change it to automatic. Save. And now let's go back here. Now it's connected. Okay, now let's do the same step, but for the other PC. Click on it, write settings. Click on settings, go to network and internet, go to the ethernet. Again, scroll down and change this to automatic. Save. Go back and it's also connected. Okay, so then it says, use connect the wireless access point to the router so now we have to connect it so let's click on the google search let's add the ip address that they've got there so it's 192.168.0.100 then add the login detail which is admin and then it's password then it says Configure the wireless access point using Chrome on, on PC1. Okay, so we want to change the wireless settings. So this is the CCID, the wireless name. So they want us to change this to home wireless. I'm just going to copy because it's easier to avoid mistakes. And then just paste it here. Make sure you apply the changes, right? Click on apply. Then when you do that, it's going to ask you for your admin details. So add admin password 
Okay, so now this is done. It has the it has taken the changes basically. So the second thing it says is the authentication. So to authenticate, let's go to security. Make sure it has um, taken the new the new name of the internet, which is Homewire. Then it says change the mode to P WPA2. WPA2. Okay, so that's the one. Then it says um, inscription methods. Make sure you select the right one. Okay, it doesn't allow me, and it's because I didn't select the right one. Okay, now it's IAES. And then add the password. So let's copy this password and then paste it in that space. Copy. Paste it here and apply. Okay, so now it's perfect. So it says configure the laptop to connect to the wired network and then you also have to configure the ipad and connect it to the internet so let's go to the laptop let's go to settings to connect it let's click on network and internet let's go to wi-fi okay so it doesn't allow me to even turn it on so this was quite tricky actually for me to find out how to do this bit but if you zoom in this is an older pc so you need to click on this to allow the Wi-Fi to connect. So now it says it's on. So let's connect it to the home Wi-Fi. Let's click on connect and let's add the password. Right, the password is at home wireless. Next. So it's connected now. Okay, perfect. So this is done. Let's go back to computer desk. And then we've got the, um, let's power up the iPad. Let's go to settings. Let's go to Wi-Fi. So we've got home wireless. Now let's add again the password. Okay, let's copy again and add it. Okay, why it doesn't allow me? Okay, I might have to type it myself, which is annoying. Okay, now it's connected. And that's it, that's everything. So let's uh, go to score. Again, it's 100.